Welcome to this week of Fly Rod Chronicles. I'm down here in Costa Rica with my good friend, Jake Alexander. I met Jake through West Virginia University and he was sitting in a class and I, honestly, I didn't even know he existed until the magic letter come in the mail. Dear Curtis, thank you. Three years ago, I had the pleasure of listening to your story of the beginning of Fly Rod Chronicles and Steve Cutright's entrepreneurship class. Your story has inspired me to leave the traditional nine to five jobs to fulfill a dream. Six months ago, I started a charter business in Capos, Costa Rica. Your story and the message you conveyed during that class pushed me to take the plunge, take the risk and go for it. As a token of my appreciation, please accept my invitation for you and your family to come fishing with me on Pescadora. If you have never caught a billfish on a fly before, we would be honored to be with you for your first. That's when I informed the girls, pack up baby, it's spring break. We're going to Costa Rica and we're gonna catch big billfish on the fly. Stick around. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, every year I take some time out of my busy schedule to go to West Virginia University and speak to Professor Cutright's entrepreneurship class. I remember the day that Curtis came to our classroom to, to talk to the students. Jake was riveted on everything that Curtis said and you could just tell that there was something there that was interesting to Jake. That day that Curtis came uh, is something that really stuck with me. Uh, when I was presented the opportunity to make this happen down here and get a boat and put a great team together, uh, really related to Curtis's story and you know kind of just, just went for it. It's one of the most satisfying times of my career to see a young man like Jake Alexander succeed and be here today doing what he's doing. And now he runs one of the greatest charter businesses right here in Capos, Costa Rica. So while I may be the one who started this, these are the guys who make it happen. Look how crazy this is right here. I mean, you can't get this at SeaWorld or Disney World or Disneyland. But look at this. I mean, they're right, they are right here. Just going crazy. One's Flipper, you see him? Flipper! You guys wanna swim with him? Yeah. Look here, and you know, if you look right up here, my girls get to take you in and that's, I mean, that's priceless. They literally got here, flew in, got in at midnight. We're out here before the sun comes up. And if we go back to West Virginia, this right here is worth it. This is, this is crazy. You know, the fishing here is so different than what we do. You know, everything's bigger. Rods, flies, line, ocean, depth of ocean. It's something that I've never had the opportunity to do. With the crew we have here, we can take someone even like Curtis, who's never caught a billfish on the fly before, and land a ton of fish with him. You know, the majority of the boats down here, they fish traditional gear. Jake made it a point to be able to cater to fly fishermen. Don't go anywhere, when we come back, I get my feet wet and catch my first billfish on the fly. Got it, got it. It's a oh! Stay around for more Fly Rod Chronicles. Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles? Check us out online. This segment is brought to you by Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods. You know, to prepare for this trip to fish for billfish, I had to do a lot of research. Dad kept talking about getting a sailfish on the fly, and I'm not gonna lie, I was like, okay, Dad, you know, good luck. You know, 
I grew up in the, in the hills of West Virginia fishing for trout. These are big, huge billfish. What am I getting myself into? Catching one on the fly is so much more difficult than with conventional gear. Uh, when we fish conventional gear, we have five baits in the water. Uh, when you're fishing fly, there's no baits. We just have teasers. We only use uh, one of the outriggers, one dredge. So that alone makes it difficult. And then you have to tease the fish in close enough to be able to make a perfect cast and time it up with the mate. So when he pulls the teaser, you cast, and it lands right where the teaser was for the fish to come up and bite it. Everybody has a job to do. If we don't get that fly to the teaser, we lose our opportunity. You know, billfish, um, they're some of the fastest fish in the world. So when your captain sees that billfish approaching your teaser, it's all chaos. Coming, 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 get ready, get ready. Everybody has something to do. And my job is to grab the big 14 weight and I gotta hit the teaser. When the first mate pulls that teaser out of the water, you've got one shot to replace the teaser with the fly. Yes, 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 yes. When that thing is coming and you know that your fly can be taken, at times I thought my heart was going to beat out of my chest. I know people talk about, man, is Curtis really like that when he catches a fish? Oh yeah, feel it baby, feel it! I'm gonna go ahead and apologize because I completely lost it. Okay, get ready, here he goes. Oh yeah! Oh! To actually watch him do that and bite the sailfish, it was, it was amazing. It was something I couldn't take my eyes off of to see it jump. That was nuts. Oh! Look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that, would you? I promise you, this is something before you die, you must do. It's incredible, it's exciting. It's something that I've never had the opportunity to do. But to do it on a fly was really cool. Who would think a hillbilly? from West Virginia be down here. Don't understand a word these guys can say, but how many times have we said it's an international language, fly fishing, baby. Okay, get ready, here he goes. You know what was neat about our guides and the country of Costa Rica is they pride themselves on catch and release. And you know, we're very conservation friendly and it was pretty cool to see their methods of how they did it. Because, you know, with us, it can be a simple pop the hook, put it back in the stream, and let it go. Here, it's complete opposite. Everybody ready to go in the water? Jump in, get a picture of it, have it forever. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. So this project with the fish tagging, yeah. it helps us keep track of the, the population. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of thought in that there's a local population of sailfish here. Yeah. And it helps do the research on that. And the way it works is you tag the fish and then if you catch a fish that's tagged, then you report it and then that's how they know where the fish migrated to. That's pretty cool there, yeah. And the coolest thing about this from, I mean truly from a catch and release area, I mean, we got the photograph, we got the video, we got it tagged, and it's back out there doing its thing. Looking back when I was in Dr. Cubright's entrepreneurship class my senior year, that day that Curtis came, uh, is something that really stuck with me. My speech at the university inspired Jake to become one of the biggest, largest, best charters over here in Costa Rica. That's a humble feeling. Uh, this year we've done 26 trips as of today. That's why we speak to kids. That's why we are mentors. That's why we do what we do. Stick around.
round. Fly Rod Chronicles will be right back. Closed captioning brought to you by Soft Science, Supreme Comfort Footwear. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. Good morning in the Pacific out here. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Got to sleep on the boat. We've been traveling all night. You see these guys behind me. I mean, they've, they've been working just relentless. And it's fish time here. It's fish 30. Hey girls, it's fishing time. You guys ready to go? Not yet, clearly. <laughs> We're trying. Well, they're putting, they're putting the, the, tra the trailers out, so it's time to go. You know, catching these billfish is a total team effort. It's not just me throwing a fly at him. You know, it's the first mate knowing that he's got to pull a teaser. It's the second mate knowing he's got to pull all the lines around it. But to do it on a fly was really cool because we had to provoke those fish into coming in on a teaser. And you know, this teaser has no hook on it. So when your captain sees that billfish approaching your teaser, I mean, it just, is a complete chaos on the boat because everybody has something to do. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, put it by the water. Tell me when to cast. Cast, 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 I'm not talking because my heart just started again. Yeah, going that happened quick. There he goes. Oh! Oh! Oh my. Oh my. Hey Jake, can you bring that water right there to your right? Thank you, dude. Our mates were incredible at knowing how to release them fish because they would create a turbulence by spinning that fish, by getting that good water going through their gills. They're heading out looking for their next meal. It's time for Trout Unlimited's Release of the Week. For anyone that doesn't think fly fishing takes a, an entire team, you know, Gordo is out there doing his thing, getting the lines. Our main man out there, he's just Tezzy's. He's running the teaser until I can make the perfect cast. And Maynard's up there talking to me in Spanish. You're translating, and everybody's cheering for me. And it all down. come together. We got a great team here. Yeah, you do, great man. Team. You do. You absolutely do. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming down. Yeah, man. Love, love to get you out here, get you on a sale, get you on some more. I can't tell you how cool it is. And, you know, when, when, when you speak to a entrepreneurship class at West Virginia University and there's you know 100 kids in the class you don't remember all of them but to know that my story touched Jake and got him into fishing got him into being a very successful business person that's really cool and uh, you know to come down here and to be able to spend that time with Jake to come down here and see his business, see his success, and see where his future is going, I feel like a proud parent. We did it, brother. That's right. I must you live out those family over prediction. It's done. All along. 
family tradition. Can't get enough of Fly Rod Chronicles? Check us out online. I've got to get there one way or another. I'm a fishing bum. This is great for anyone who really loves fly fishing and wants to try something new, something exciting, and catch huge sailfish and marlin down in Costa Rica. I get to provide a great experience for people when they come out on the boat. Uh, you know, you look at the feedback in the book we have and it's just all great, great fishing, great crew, great food, had such a great time, can't wait to come back. It was like fishing with family because we come from the same state, we come from the same university. Jake made it a point to be able to cater to fly fishermen. After seeing what we did this week, I think he's gonna be a busy man. To catch stuff conventionally, you get excited when you hear the, the line flying off the reel, but you don't really get to see the bite. It was incredible to watch the fish come in, follow the teaser, and just the teamwork involved with everyone on the boat, from the captain to the crew, to the angler to make it happen. And we caught so many fish this trip and it's phenomenal to watch every single one of them. We always try to get that take. We love seeing that trout come up and just sip. There ain't no sipping going on down here in Costa Rica. You see an eyeball that looks like a bowling ball with a big sword sticking up out of the water and he is coming after your fly. It'll change you, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I am hooked for life. Anyone that's fished at a destination that they've never been, there's always that name that people respect. Well, that's Miner. Miner won 2007 Bill Fish World Championship. Everybody respects him. And you know what? He respected us. He knew that we weren't Bill Fish guys. He knew that we didn't know how to fly fish for Bill Fish. But you know what? He made it fun. He made us look good. We're Bill Fish guys now. At one point, I made a bad cast. I came short. What'd he do? He sped up, which takes my line back a little further. Makes me look like a hero. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Got him. Good job, guys. Good job. Whoa. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Woo. Give it to me, baby. Give me some Costa Rica style. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Give it to me! Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this dude's not happy, is he? I see fly line right there, baby. We, we could be out of the backing here in a couple seconds. We are officially 110 feet away. We're 97 feet away. I need to shut my mouth or we'll be 197 feet away here in a second. As you can see, we're dueling right now. I'm not sure who's winning, but I gotta be easy on this line class. Um, it's a big thing down here in Costa Rica that if you can catch one on a tip at under 20 pounds, and this might not sound that big of a deal, but they hang your fly with your name down here in Costa Rica. And I really want to land this fish. I think we, we may have done it. And he's away. Yeah, baby. Huh? Right in the bill, in the hole. Right in the bill. 
Yes! Yes! Minor! Horrible cast, but hey, money! Costa Rica, baby! Under the 20 pound class line, and we got it in Costa Rica, we got it done. We didn't even have to touch the baby. You know, this is something we've never done. And to be honest with you, you know, doing it on a fly, it, it, it's rare. So this is something I'm proud of, and um, it ranks way up here. And we appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come back next week with more Fly Rod Chronicles. Can't guarantee you that we're going to make it a better show because this was amazing. Let's go! Mount Air! <laughs>